That's right, Megan. As you mentioned, city council members voted five to one on Tuesday to remove the statue erected 52 years ago in honor of Andrew Jackson. It's the first step in unraveling his complicated past from the city that bears his name. Just outside City Hall, a statue of General Andrew Jackson, the bronze statue sculpted in 1968. The city is named after Jackson and was founded in 1822 as Mississippi's capital city. An honor for his role in the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812, Andrew Jackson also served as seventh president of the United States. But also in his biography is the fact that he was a slave owner, According to the Hermitage, Jackson's homestead in Nashville, Tennessee, the former president owned about 150 enslaved African Americans at the time of his death. He also signed the Indian Removal Act. The law pushed several Native American tribes out of the South, including here in Mississippi, on a forced march to Oklahoma. Thousands died in the march known as the Trail of Tears. City Council voted 5-1 to one to remove the statue, the lone no vote cast by Councilman Ashby Foote. Mayor Shokwe Antarlomuba says the statue is moving in part because Andrew Jackson is guilty of one of the most heinous acts of genocide that this nation has ever seen. The mayor also says as his administration works to build a city focused on progress and unity, we must make certain that we display images which reflect those aspirations. Now, an interesting fact about the Andrew Jackson statue, it was designed by sculptor Catherine Rhyme Speed Edel. Her first husband was Leland Speed, who was elected mayor back in 1945. No word yet on where the city plans to move that monument. Troy Johnson, 16, WAPT News at 10.